Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. I'm going to start a little series today from Genesis chapter number 1. And we're going to look at a couple of verses here. Uh, verses 27 and 28. The Bible says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So you can see that God already sorted out the whole pronoun stuff long, long time ago. Anyway, I move on. That's, that's not what I'm going to talk about today. All right, verse 28. And God blessed them and said, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, break this down a little bit, and we're going to start a little series about our purpose. What is the purpose? Because that is something that weighs on a lot of people's minds, um, you know, especially especially those who uh, may not know the Lord. You know, life is a giant question mark, right? And it can be, even be a little little scary, a little intimidating. But I think one of the main questions that so many human beings ask themselves is why? Why are we here? What is our purpose? But if we go back to the beginning when God created man, we can see very clearly what our purpose is. And so first, let's look at verse 28. And so we see, you know, the verses we just read uh, are... A couple of verses from uh, when God created man, you know, Adam and Eve. And so verse 28 says, and God blessed them. So I'm going to focus on that one little phrase right there. And God blessed them. What does it mean to be blessed? Blessed means to gain favor of God. And so when God blessed them, God was pouring out his favor upon them. And so that is one of the first purposes, you could say, of, of why God created man. Because God wanted to favor man. God wanted to bless man. And we can even see later on when Adam sinned against God, that Adam hid him. Adam and Eve both hid themselves away from God, right? And what did God do? He went looking for them. He was walking and he said, where are you, Adam? Where art thou? Where'd you go? Because the Lord, well, of course God knew where they were, but Nevertheless, God was looking for them because they were supposed to be together. They were supposed to be walking together. Adam was supposed to be walking with God. And God was supposed to be walking with Adam. That's why he created man. So we can be together. So we can enjoy the blessings, the favor of God. But we blew it. <laughs> we blew it with sin. But let me tell you, that is still our purpose. That's why Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for our sins, to make things right of which we made wrong. He did that so he can restore the purpose of why he created us. And someday when we're in heaven, we get to fulfill that purpose of being favored and blessed by our creator so that we can walk with him, enjoy his company, and he ours. And you know, even right now, yeah, we may live in a dark world, in a sinful world, but we can still fulfill that purpose in this short little life that we have here before we go into eternity. We can still do that by walking with God and, <clears throat> and doing everything we can to gain the blessings and favor 
of God, which, by the way, he gave us a whole book on how we can do that. And he would want nothing more than to walk with you as he did with Adam. That is, I would probably say, the primary purpose. There's other, other purposes which we're going to get into in the next few, few days, but, um, but that is most definitely the main one. He created us just so he can bless us. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.